All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash, Laulam Yom. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and reward in these last days and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to the Akim on the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in truth and sincerity, making the call and the election sure. And I want to give a humble salutation to the hopeful elect, tuning in the four corners of the earth, uh, wherever your habitation may be at. This is Brother Mashal, come back at you with a quick lesson. Uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, I want to say the water of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, forgive me the spirit and having mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And um, I want to go into a, a quick topic, man. You know, um, I had received some notices from the news feeds on my phone uh, about, la yeah, about last week. You know, I saved them, you know what I'm saying, for me to, you know, get a, for the most part, to put the spirit on me to do a, you know, a lesson on it. So today, that's that day, you know what I'm saying? So uh you know i'm gonna touch on this topic right now um where it, it talks about uh these two new news articles um one from cleveland.com right it says um get the covid 19 shot and do what and get a free Krispy Kreme donut every day for the rest of the year you see so esau you know it's just like with, with all these um you know, uh, holidays, man, you know what I'm saying? All these holidays worshiping other gods. And what do you do? What, what does Esau do? He gives you like a, a gift, man. You know what I'm saying? For you to, for you to, um, want to keep celebrating that year. You know, with, with Christmas comes presents. When, uh, with Valentine's Day comes a gift from a man. You know what I'm saying? With Halloween comes candy. You know, with, uh, the 4th of July comes fireworks. You know, everything that this devil does, man, you, he gives you something to keep one to keep uh one to come back as like a uh as a reward you know so Krispy Kreme is giving out free donuts every day for the rest of the year for those that get the COVID nine uh it's like the CV one nine shot man for, to get the jab all right so let's read a little bit of this um it says the CV one nine uh jab will help save lives, not only yours, but those around you too. The sooner more people get it, the sooner all, see, hey, the sooner people get it, the sooner all the lives can get back to normal. You see that? This, this is what, this is what Esau does, man. See, he makes you, he makes you try to feel bad about not getting it, man. You know, the sooner the people, the more people get it, the sooner all the lives can get back to normal. There's no, there's no going back to normal, man. All right. Still unconvinced. See, still unconvinced. <laughs> see, Esau is the basis of the base, man. Still unconvinced. Maybe a Krispy Kreme donut for the rest of for the rest of the year will sway you, man. This is <laughs> this is absolutely crazy, man. You know, so if you're not if you if you're on the fence about about taking the jab, you're gonna get a uh, you know uh, a Krispy Kreme donut for the rest of the year will will get you to to uh to jump over the fence you know what i'm saying this is this is this is this is complete madness man all right this these are the, the uh the gifts that esau tries to tries to give us right it says the shop known known for a satisfying fluffy and delicious sweet treats is offering a free original glazed donut to co to customers who pre uh who present a valid cv19 jab card at any of its U u.s locations Including the stores in Middleburg Heights and Akron. That's in that's in Ohio. But see, and what is this? It's a a, a jab card, man. You know, you you have to you you know that's that's crazy because when you have a a, a jab card, what's that leading up to, man? Soon it's not going to be a card because what's going what's going to start happening? People are going to start uh, uh forging these uh these jab cards, and then what's the only way that's going to be? You're gonna, they're going to be able to actually verify if you have a, a the jab is what? The market of beast, man, the RFID microchip, which will have all of your, uh, you know, medical information, all that stuff on it, right? All right, it says, um, it says we want we want to get CV19 behind us as fast as possible, and we want to support everyone doing their part to make the country safe by getting, uh, jab, uh, getting jabs, getting vaccines by by getting vaccinated as soon as the vaccine. Is available to them. See, so this is so uh, this is the Krispy Kreme chief marketing officer, man. You know, 
So they want to get they want to get CV19 behind us as fast as possible. This is all a market employed by 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 the elites, man. All right. It said what what's more, the chain is delivering free donuts to to vaccination centers throughout the country, giving employees up to four hours of paid time off to get their vaccines. And another sign of goodwill, Krispy Kreme is offering customers one free. <laughs> And another sign of, of what? Goodwill, right? Goodwill. Krispy Kreme is offering customers one free medium coffee and a free glazed donut every Monday throughout May 24th. No, no strings attached. See, so so they so it's a goodwill, a, a goodwill offering, you know, to get the to get the jab, you know, and um, you know, get a a, a, a medium coffee and a glazed donut. Whoop de whoop de do, right? It says, um, according to the CDC, uh, this is uh, the C CDC, the Center of D Disease Control. It says each of the vac uh, max vaccines being administered in the U.S. have been shown to be highly effective at preventing CV19, and widespread vaccination is is what is an essential step in stopping the pandemic. See, see how see how these these, these small words were, uh, you know. Um, Esau put in these, in these, in these, uh, in these, um, you know, reports and journalism, you know, these small words, man, I'll, 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 I'll have an effect in your psyche, man, you know, essential, you know, uh, goodwill, you know, um, you know, get this behind us as fast as possible, all right, what else, uh, Okay, maybe that's, that was it, but let's let's keep going for a little bit. Um, and uh, the CV19 and widespread vac uh, vaccination is a simple is an essential step in stopping the pandemic. In Cleveland, a mass vaccination uh, vaccination center at CSU's Wolstein Center is set up to administer 6,000 doses per day. All right, so this this Wolstein Center is like a big convocation center, man. And a lot of these uh, big cities are having these uh, mega sites, you know, for um, uh, for vaccinations, man. All right, and one more. Uh, um. Uh, article, right? It says uh, Cleveland Cinemas offering free popcorn to moviegoers who get vaccinated. All right. So now, not only can you get free Krispy Kreme donuts in uh, in Ohio or well, all over the country from Krispy Kreme, right? In, Cle in Cleveland, you can get free pop popcorn, man. You know what I'm saying? For presenting uh, 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 an authenticated uh, vaccination uh, card, man. Right? In an effort to, what? To motivate movie lovers to get their CV19 shots. The Cleveland Cinema, Cinemas is offering a limit, limited time treat to those who can show a valid uh, vaccination card, man. And what is this? A limited time, man. See, that's what happens. See, that they're trying to sell you this. What what happens with, uh, you know, with, um, uh, you know, places that have a, you know, a big sale, right? A limited time offer. You go to a, a car dealership, you know, you can get this. Limited time offer. See, they want you to go ahead and, and and hurry and get it because they 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 they're trying to tell you, well, we only have a, a small time to get this type of stuff. You know, that's all playing on the psyche, man. See these these uh these words, man. That's playing on your psyche. All right, and we'll get we'll get to some precepts in a second. Um, it says uh that's right. Any uh patron of either Cedar Lee Theater in Cleveland Heights or Chagrin Cinemas in Chagrin Falls. Can receive popcorn, uh, free popcorn between March 26th and April 30th. Uh, with the CV19 uh, vaccine eligibility open up to all adult, adult Ohioans come March 29th, opportunities to make good on the offer on the offer abound. Right, vaccination cards must be for the person who is attending the uh, the movie screen. See, so Esau is. Uh, you know, is 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 trying to get this. To, uh, you know, he's offering this free stuff, man. You know, all these uh, gifts, right? To uh, to try to throw us off. So let's get into uh, 
some precepts. Let's go to Exodus uh, 23. And we're going to go to verse 8. It says, and thou shalt take no gift. All right. And these, these uh, you know, um, bonuses for getting a jab, all those are gifts, man. And why shall we take no gift? Because uh, for the gift, for the gift blindeth the wise and perverteth the words of the righteous. See, we are the, that righteous seed. All right. And when we take these gifts, man, it, it blinds us from the wisdom that, uh, you know, uh, from the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yashat. Because when we take these gifts, what happens? We start to acknowledge and, and, uh, and um, exalt, uh, exalt Esau, man. And that's blind in the wise, all right? And perverteth the words of righteous, of the righteous. Let's look at that word, pervert. Strong's H, 5557, Salaf. Salaf. All right. Who it says to twist, to pervert, to distort, to overturn, to ruin. See. So when you take these gifts, man, you 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 distort, man, you ruin the uh. You know you you ru you ruin. Uh, the words of the righteous, man. All right. This this is exactly what you saw once. Let's go to um. Let me get in the, in the apocrypha. Sharak, uh, twelve, and we're gonna start at verse ten, but we're gonna jump down. It says, uh, verse uh, Sharak Ecclesiasticus chapter twelve, verse ten: Never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rust is, so is his wickedness. All right? Never trust thy enemy. All right? And we read Psalms 83. It tells us our chief enemy, man, is Esau, man. It's Edom. All right? We're going to jump down to verse 16. It says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. You know what? An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit, man. All right? Go ahead and uh, get free Krispy Kreme donuts, man, for this, uh, the the CV19 shot, man. You know? But, see, he's speaking sweetly with his lips. Go ahead and, you know, take the jab. We'll give you, you know, uh, you know, free donuts every day for a year. We'll give you free popcorn. You know, we'll, uh, oh, man, everything, man. The enemy, the enemy speaks sweetly with his lips. The enemy... But in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit, man. He will weep with his eyes. See what it, what it, uh, what did these senators and and these people? Oh yeah, we, you know, we feel so bad for the for um, you know, the enslavement of of, of black people. I use the word black and Africans and African Americans. You know what I'm saying? And we feel bad, so we'll, we, you know, they, they'll be the first to to get this this Maxine, right? See, they they weep with his eyes, man. They they uh. Like the like the scripture of Revelation says, uh, Revelation thirteen, you know that it, that he speaks uh, that he had two horns like a lamb, but he speaks as a dragon. All right, so he comes with those peaceable words, but and and but behind closed doors, man, he's speaking as a dragon. All right, but if he find open opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood, man, because his ultimate goal is to get rid of the nation of Israel, man. All right, and what's coming with these jabs is 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 uh is, is recalls man what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a recall recalls you know and all of a sudden now people are gonna start start getting sick you know and that's what that's what Esau wants and then what you know and then hey it's it's gonna be it's gonna be he's gonna have his new uh his new world order in place man because when people start getting sick from his jab they're gonna be dependent on something something new to to, to heal him. all right he's not gonna be satisfied with blood okay it says, verse 17, if adversity come upon thee, right, this uh, CV19, if this adversity come upon thee, what happened? You, uh, you will, thou shall find him there first. All right. See, this is adversity right here. This is the beginning of Jacob's trouble, bro. 
All right. So if so, this is adversity. This is the beginning of our adversity, man. Our true our temptation. So right now, this TV one nine and this jab, right? This is the this is what's coming upon us, right? Thou shalt find him there first. See, so this is all Esau is doing, man. It's this pandemic, man. This is a plan. All right. It says, and what? And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. All right. This is he pretend to help you, man. You know, and what what happens? Well, you he wants to give you this this jab. All right. That's pretending to help. But now, in order for 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 him to further uh, move this 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 vaccination on, what does he do? He gives you these these gifts. All right, people love Krispy Kreme donuts, man. All right, people love popcorn at, at movie theaters. But see, that's what happens, man. He he gonna help pretend to help you, yet, yet shall he undermine you. All right, this is what this is what this uh this this beast does, man. Uh, let's go to uh, Proverbs, right? Proverbs uh, 15 and 27. It says, He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. See, when you, so when you hate these gifts, you're going you're gonna to live. Because those gifts blind, blind your vision, man. They, 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 they're here to throw you off your game. All right, and Esau, Esau is greedy of game, man. Huh? He's gonna truck. What? What is his house? His house is his land, man. His house is the system. All right, he that is greedy of game troubles his, his own house. And we're applying it. We're applying this to Esau right now. All right, because Esau loves loves money, man. He loves power. See, he's greedy of it, man. He's greedy of game. He's gonna trouble his own house. And that's why you I said, uh, if Satan can cast out Satan, how shall his house stand? All right. So his house is his his house is his uh his rulership. All right. So he's banking on you to, to to take these gifts, man. It says, but he that hateth gifts shall live. See, when you when you when you uh when you hate these things that this this uh that Esau is giving you, you know, uh you you will live. All right. Because when you hate the things that Esau is giving you, you love the things that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is giving you. All right. Uh, let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes seven and verse seven. It says, "Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart." All right. So we, we know that we're oppressed, you know, and the, the same people that we're we're being oppressed by is giving us these uh, these gifts. All right. That's why it says, "Yo, don't." Uh, That's why it says, never trust thine enemy, man. For like his iron rust, it sows his wickedness. All right? So we, we know that we're still under oppression. So surely oppression make a wise man, man, and a gift to short the heart. So why would we take a gift from the same people that's, that's oppressing us, man? That we know that's oppressing us. That's been oppressing us for centuries now. But now all of a sudden, he wants to help you? And see, that's where... Uh, See, an enemy speaking sweetly with his lips. See, now all of a sudden they want to help you. Now all of a sudden they want to get you this thing that's going to save your life. You know, and the pe and people are gonna uh are gonna um are gonna take heed, man. This is why uh we go to Proverbs twenty six and twenty uh twenty four. It says, "He that hateth, right, disassembleth with his lips." See. So, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. All right? And our enemy hates us, man. Esau hates us. It says, he that dis hateth the semblance with his lips and layeth up deceit with him. See, this is evil, man. This is deceit. Get the CV19 shot and get, the, get a free Krispy Kreme donut every day for the rest of the year. That's deceit, man. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. For what? There are seven abominations in his heart. All right? That's seven meaning completion. So whenever he speaks fair, 
don't believe him, man, because there's, there's a complete amount of abominations in his heart, man. He's trying to overthrow you, trying to put you to death. All right? Whose hatred is covered by what? By deceit. See, his hatred is covered by deceit, man. These jabs. All right? These gifts that come with the jabs. That's all deceitful, man. And it says, his wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation, man. All right? And that whole congregation is the elect right now. Because the elect understand that his wickedness is, is being showed right now. You see, most of Jake think that he, oh, I'm going to go get a free Krispy Kreme donut. I'm going to give me some free popcorn. Look, baby, let's go get some free Krispy Kreme donuts. See? The wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation, man. So, uh, some, some Jake, um, is gonna, is gonna, uh, be, be, be swayed by that, man. You know, but the whole congregation, the whole elect of Israel is not gonna be deceived, man. Because we know what's going on. You know, uh, this is scripture, um, the simple believeth every word, every word. Proverbs 14 and 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. See? So the simple is two-thirds of Jake's, man. The ones that's being deceived by the by, and being disassembled by the, the, the smooth words of Esau. The simple believeth every word. Don't worry. You can go ahead and take the jab. You'll be fine. All right? It says, but the prudent man. Let's look at that word prudent. The prudent man looketh well to his going. Strong's H, 6175. Arum. Arum. All right. Second entry. No, Arum. Arum. All right. So subtle, shrewd, crafty, sly, sensible. You see, this is why Yahweh Shai said that we, we should be, have to be wise as serpents and harmless as dove, man, because a serpent is a really a, a, a very smart animal. All right? So that's why Yahweh Shai said we have to be sensible, man, crafty, man, understanding, uh, you know, the sign of the times, man, and what's, and what's, and what's happening in, in front of us. All right? So it says, but the, the, the prudent man, the, the crafty, Man, look at well to what's going, man, because you know we're ducking and dodging the 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 darts of the wicked, man, like the scripture said. All right, so we're not going to be uh uh duped, you know what I'm saying, by the by the craftiness of Esau, man. Uh, Psalms 28 and verse three: Draw me not away with the wicked and the workers of iniquity, which what which speaketh which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts, all right? So so who are our neighbors? is Esau, Edom, man. See, they speak peace, but mischief is in their hearts. When you read Psalms uh, 55, it says, um, uh, let, me, let me get it real quick. Psalms 55 and 21, it says, uh, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were soft in the oil, yet, yet were they drawn swords. All right. So that's that. So Esau is, comes with those, those smooth words, man, because he's he, he's being led by the power of Hashatan, man. And Hashatan is, 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 uh, is giving him the, the power to, to, uh, to move people, man. You know what I'm saying? To uh, draw people's interest. You know, to put instill the fear in people to make the money get the, the, these jabs and stuff like that. All right. So draw me not away with the wicked, which is Esau, and the workers of iniquity. All right. Which is which is Esau? Because when uh, in Revelation 18 it talks about uh, uh, you know her that her iniquities have have reached up unto heaven. All right. Roughly paraphrasing. It says we're speaking peace. Peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. You know what? Let's go to um because we are we are uh Esau's neighbors. Um Genesis forty nine. 
because it was a prophecy that we we would be in the uh, what's lock here. Let's see. Uh, it's okay. Genesis 48, uh, 49 and verse eight. Judah, who are uh, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. What thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. And thy father's children shall bow down before thee. All right. So we, so Judah would be in the neck of our, in, in the neck of the, of our enemies. Okay. Now you have the Northern kingdom, um, you know, down in countries like, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, Mexico, you have the, uh, you have Ishikar in, in Mexico, you have, uh, um, Ephraim in Puerto Rico, you know what I'm saying? But the, the, uh, the the uh, Judah, the tribe of Judah, will be in the neck of our enemies, man, which is Esau, Edom. Okay. Now you have different, uh, you know, tribes of Esau. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna call them tribes, but you have the, the Spanish. You know that they, they're Edomites. You know, and they took down, uh, you know the. Uh, the indigenous, you know, of the land, you know what I'm saying? Which are the Northern Kingdom, you know? So, but, you know, Judah, uh, this is a prophecy for Judah that we will be in, in the neck of our enemies, man. We will be surrounded by our enemies, man, which is, which is, which is, uh, the, um, uh, I'm gonna call them the American Edomites. You know, you had the Spanish Edomites, you know, they're all Edomites, but, you know, you, you know, all of this is just, uh, you know, prophecy, man. All right. Uh, let's go to, and this is how, this is how that they are, our, they are our neighbors, all right? Let's go to, uh, let's go back to Psalms, uh, 62. Uh, and verse 4. Uh, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency, all right? And this is, this is, uh, this is Esau, man. They only uh, consult to cast him down from his excellency. What's that? That goes with Psalms 83. You know, let the uh, that their name be no more in remembrance. You know, because we were we were in an excellent uh, a place of excellency, man. No one, no one, uh, our laws, man. No one, our heritage. You know, no one, our power. No one, uh, you know, these things. All right. So this is this is how they're they're, they're consulting to keep us out of our excellency, man. It says they delight in lies. They bless with their mouth. But they curse inwardly, Salah. See, so it's it's a uh, it's it's a uh, they do things on the outside to to seem like they're blessing us, all right. But they curse inwardly, man, because these people hate us, and we're taking these 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 uh you know these these uh jabs and these uh gifts from Esau, man, and it's not it's not uh it's not doing us any good, all right. Let's go to Psalms 144 and verse 7. Uh, it says, Send thine hand from above, rid me, and deliver me out of the great waters and from the hands of strange children. See, and Esau is strange children, man. And the great waters is the multitude of people, man. Or these other nations, because we're in a melting pot. America is a big melting pot. All right, so this is Babylon. The, we we're talking about Babylon the Great. The great waters, because we have all nations over here, man. All right, and from the hand of and from the hand of strange children, it says, "Whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand to falsehood." See, so when they speak, they're speaking vain things, man. They're speaking uh, vain things. Get a free Krispy Kreme donut, man. All right, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. And see, when you when you talk about the right hand. The right hand is a, is, a, is, a, is a source of power. All right. Yahweh's uh, right hand is Yahweh Shai. All right. So the right hand is supposedly supposed to be the, uh, the righteous side. But when you, when, but with the wicked, their right hand is a right hand of falsehood, man. Uh, uh, the right, the power is from wickedness. All right. Jumping on to verse 11. It says, rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speak in vanity. And the right hand is the right hand of falsehood. All right. So this is so this is just a quick lesson, real quick. You know, uh, just just 
being 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 uh, aware about Esau's gifts and um, you know him speaking fair, man, and 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 uh, you know um, not being trustworthy because you can't trust your enemy, man. Never trust thine enemy. All right. So most high willing, such was edifying. I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Chachakodash, Lavlam Yom Young. Double honors to the elders and the apostle Great Millstone. I want to say Kwam Nasharala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.